I don't want to be presumptuous Buzz. here. I can call you Buzz. Buzz. Okay. That's a, that's a legal name. Passport, okay. driver's license. And I am Uncle Coney tonight. Uh, Uncle Coney. Well, let's talk about this because this is fascinating. I remember very clearly, I think anybody who was alive at the time does, I remember my parents waking me up and we went down and we watched you guys land on the moon. No, which you didn't. Was, no, you didn't. What? Because uh, uh, there wasn't any television. There wasn't anybody taking a picture. You watched animation. See, you associated what you saw with... I have very hazy memories. Yeah, I know. Uh, well, well, <laughs> no, but what we saw was we all, we all were gathered around you the heard, old curved you top heard radio me and listened. talking about, uh, you know, how many feet we were going to the left and right, and then I said, contact light, engine stop. It was and exciting. And a few other things, and then Neil said, Houston, Tranquility Base, the Eagle has landed. Just Man, how about that? That, that was that, very exciting. Not a bad line. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this was, so were you self-conscious about all the, I mean, the entire Earth, uh, you know, is, is watching and listening to everything that you guys do. Were you self-conscious at all about what am I going to say? What if I say something that's kind of stupid? It's in the history books forever, like, <laughs> I want a cookie or, you know. Now, you got it. You got it. You're we worried were, then. We were focused. Uh, you know, I was afraid that Neil might say, uh, hey, you better go out first and, you know, think up a couple of lines to say when you step on the moon. <laughs> right, right. Because so that's a huge responsibility you now. Bet. right. You were not the first man to walk on the moon, but you've actually talked about this. You were the first man to relieve himself on the moon. Is that true? That is correct. That is correct. Well, no, this is... You want to get to the... But not on the moon. You know, you don't want to... Yeah, you, you didn't you unzip. Want to un yeah, you right. do not yeah. want to unzip. Right, no, right. Uh, that would be stupid. But, uh, but, but we got a little device that. Uh, you know, I don't want to know about the device. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, in the footage, you're the one that's bunny hopping. You know what I mean? Why were you doing that? Because you look at the footage, and, and you were the astronaut that started jumping up and down okay. on the moon and doing some kind of a bunny hop. Which not bunny hop, kangaroo hop. You know, two feet, feet at a time. I always. <laughs> Mess up these technical terms. You got to keep those people in the southern hemisphere happy. Those, <laughs> okay. uh, you know, what was the point of that? Under. Was there a, was, was the, that a scientific experiment, yes, or were you getting you too much no, gas no, in the helmet? I, I thought it was a good idea. <laughs> 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 I thought it was a good idea in front of the TV to bounce around and to demonstrate how easy a guy could uh, move around or a gal could move around on on the moon. What did you eat up there? I'm, I mean, I, you always hear about. We were told that you guys had tang. I think you didn't have tang. We didn't call it that. We had right. an orange drink, but, uh, you know, some of the guys didn't like the orange drink, so we cut it with grapefruit juice, and we called it orange grapefruit Because as kids, we were told that the astronauts drank tang. tang you must yeah. also have tang, and now I find out that that's a bunch of baloney, you know. No, we had, we had uh, whatever went into tang went into the orange drink. So. Oh, but okay. you, you know, NASA gets a little sensitive about commercializing things, Coca-Cola and that right. sort of thing. Right, they don't like that kind of thing. What did you actually eat? What kind of food were you having up there? Um, well, it wasn't gourmet. Um, you don't want to have crummy things because uh, the crumbs go all over the place. No, right. dried peas. Right, you wouldn't dried get dried peas would not work. Caviar or like a pound cake, a dry pound cake. You wouldn't no eat good, that because no the crumbs no are everywhere. <laughs> this is good pound cake. You know, and suddenly the. You're in trouble? But, but caviar would have been good, but it's a little expensive, and right. we were getting a little over, over budget, so we had, to, we had to have uh, hot dogs, I think it was. You didn't have little, hot dogs. Yeah, hot this dogs. is a big scientific mission. They but, shoved hot dogs into the capsule just before you went? Oh, yeah, and have these. Whack. Well, no, it was, it was new. It was innovative, because up to that time, we'd had what they call freeze-dried. It's all in a, in a plastic pouch, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's all evacuate you know you take all the stuff out of it, right. all the water out of it right. and on one end it's got a little valve and you pump the water in through through a water gun right and if it's you know freeze dried coffee right. powder, then you can put hot water in that was luxury the command module in apollo had hot water in it well you now we we actually uh, we're not going to get into it but we, we the foods they have today are like freeze dried pizzas beef stroganoff they have actual you know, add water and you get like a nine layer cake yeah. these guys are no, it's, <laughs> they have it's some serious like a food. tv dinner and Sometimes the TV puts you on, on the TV while you're eating dinner. How did you... S uh, <laughs> I, I, you know, I bet you thought I wore this just for you. What, because of the late night these, theme? Not all these stars and moons and all that. It'd be around. nice if you wore a tie that was a that, tribute to me. No, that, this is my tie. <laughs> no, no. I bet you thought that's... That's nice. you got yeah. a lot of stars and moons all over you. You're like the lucky charm guy. Mm -hmm. It's just like... <laughs> that's very cool. They're everywhere. And uh, we... Um, what do you got? What's this right here? Yeah. I don't know. They throw this stuff on us before we get. It's a clip-on. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I have to mention be, before we go that you've written a book. This is a novel. 
That's right. And uh, it's, it's called The Return right here, which uh, people techno should check thriller. out. It's a techno, techno thriller. Techno thriller. And it's yep. based on some of your experiences? No, it's based on what I think should happen. You what know? should and happen? We, we need to start flying private citizens in space. Mm -hmm. And this, this talks about flying a journalist and then a game show winner, pyramid to space, and then a coup de gras is uh, a, a well-known celebrity. Yeah. Yes. Oh, no. Well-known. No, Sorry. He's, he's a basketball <laughs> player, tall, retired, worked right. for a shoe company. <laughs> Michael, uh, James. Michael, Michael James. Yeah, yeah. We'll call <laughs> yeah. He's going to sue you so fast. Yeah. Michael Gordon. Uh, well, the book The Return is available now. Buzz, it's really cool. I've always, I've always wanted to meet you. It's really great to have you on the program. Thank you for doing it. Hey, yeah. nice to meet you. Yeah. Buzz Aldrin, everybody. We'll take a break.